Hey everybody, it's Keegan here. I'm back with another video for you guys. And today I'm back with another edition of Keegan's Movie Reviews for you guys. And much like some of the previous episodes that I've done recently, it's going to be another double feature review. And today we're going to be talking about two films from one studio and one director. That being Studio Ghibli and director Hayao Miyazaki. And uh, today we're going to be talking about Hayao Miyazaki's newest film, The Boy and the Heron. I think that's how you pronounce it, and his 2008 film, Ponyo. Both of these films I actually watched for the first time uh, yesterday, one of them in theaters and the other one on Blu-ray. Now, before we actually get into this review, I was actually originally going to review Caligula and the Night Porter with uh, the boy and the Heron. However, I decided to just review Ponyo and the boy and the Heron instead because they're both from the same director and from the same studio. I figured it would be a bit of an interesting double feature reviewing those two movies instead. Um, I will review The Night Porter and Caligula in probably the first episode of Season 6, possibly. Since there's going to be one more episode of, uh, of Season 5, and then that'll be the end of Season 5. And Season 6 will be coming out in January, of course. So anyways, let's not waste any more time and let's get on to the reviews, shall we? So we're going to start off today with The Boy and the Heron, which of course is Hayao Miyazaki's newest film. It actually just came out on Friday and I went to go see it in the theater yesterday. When I saw it in the theater, it was really packed. It was just about sold out at the screening when I went to see the film. I totally wasn't expecting it to be that packed, but it was. And I also saw it in subtitled and not the uh, dubbed. I don't mind uh, anime dubbed, but I prefer it in Japanese and subtitled. But that's just me. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect when I was going to see this film. I know a lot of people said that this was going to be Hayao Miyazaki's last film. But I think he would later say that he decided to not retire yet. He's probably going to make another movie one day, but... I don't think this, well, I doubt it'll be his last film, but who knows, maybe his next film will be his last, but mm, who knows. But anyways, let's talk about the story of the film, and then we'll get into my thoughts on it. So let's take a dive into The Boy and the Heron. So the film takes place during the Second World War, and it follows a young boy named Mahito, who loses his mother during the war. And two years after his mother's death, I mean, no, three years after his mother's death, his father and his, him and his father move into... An estate on the countryside where he lives with some maids and his uh, pregnant stepmother. And then uh, one day the stepmother wanders off into the forest and doesn't come back. And Mahito seeks out to find uh, his stepmother. And then finds an abandoned uh, tower in the middle of the forest. And with the help of a Huron bird he... Uh, him and the bird go into another world where life, where the living and the dead share a world together, where the living have a new beginning. And um, along the way, they're trying to face off against the dangers while finding, trying to find uh, Mahito's stepmother and get back to the real world. And uh, without giving away too much, that's basically the story of the film in a nutshell. I was pleasantly surprised with this movie. I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was. But uh, this movie was amazing. Like, I love the music in it. I like the, uh, well, I really like the style of the animation. Well, other than it's an anime, of course. But I like the different worlds. Well, the different world that the film later takes place in. So many interesting creatures and so many different characters and it was just a really, really a good film, and I thought it was a beautifully made film. And I know that uh, Hayao Miyazaki said that this was going to be his last film before he changed his mind. If this was going to be his last film, I think that would have been a perfect send-off for his career. But I don't think this will be his last film. I bet he's going to make another film one day. But um, I don't really have a whole lot to say about it other than I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was a beautifully crafted film. And it was just, it was quite an interesting experience. And I forgot to say this at the start of the video, but this was also the first anime film that I saw in theaters. And it definitely won't be the last. 
Uh, my only issue with this movie is that it kind of abruptly ends, but but that's basically it. But overall, I had a lot of fun seeing The Boy and the Huron in theaters. And um, I think it's one of Miyazaki's best films. And uh, all in all, it was a beautiful film that I will definitely see it again. And it will probably be in my list of my favorite films of 2023. But uh, if you like uh, Studio Ghibli films, definitely check this one out. This movie was fantastic. And I'm giving this one an 8.7 out of 10. And lastly, we move on to Heo Miyazaki's 2008 film, Ponyo, which was released in Japan on July 19th, 2008, and would later be released in North America on August 14th, 2009. Now, I actually remember seeing commercials for when this movie was coming out back in the day. I would have been around, um, I think I would have been around, uh, yeah, I was eight years old when it came out in North America. But I remember seeing commercials for it before it came out. And back then, it didn't really look all that interesting to me. I don't know why, but... But, uh, flash forward to many years later, it looked interesting to me. And I've been wanting to check it out for quite a while. And last night, I finally checked it out. And I, um... I was, um... Amazed by this movie, but we'll get to more on that in a bit But right now we're going to talk about the story of the film and then we'll get into my thoughts on it. So let's take a dive into Ponyo So Ponyo follows a young a five-year-old boy named Sasuke Who lives who is the son of a sailor and lives on a quiet town near the ocean and He seems to be living a normal life of a five-year-old. He goes to school he lives with his parents, although his father is away a lot because he's a sailor. And uh, his mom works a lot, but it seems he he seems to be living a, a normal life for a five-year-old. But then one day by the beach, he stumbles upon a, a strange fish named uh, Ponyo, who later becomes human and falls in love with uh, Sasuke. And Ponyo is the same age as Sasuke. However, Ponyo's parents are a wizard and a goddess. And uh, the relationship between Sasuke and Ponyo is kind of sort of an imbalance to the world or something like that. And it's causing like floods and storms happening around the world. Or, well, something like that. So then anyways... Ponyo and Sasuke are trying to figure out how to save the world and try to stay together. And Ponyo is trying to figure out how to stay human to be with uh, Sasuke. And without giving away it too much, that's basically the story of the film in a nutshell. As I mentioned before, when this movie was coming out in North America back in the day, it didn't really look all that interesting to me for some reason. I don't know why, but it just didn't. But um, as I got older... It really looked interesting to me, and after finally watching it last night for the first time, I was amazed by this movie, and I regret not watching it years ago. But uh, I loved every minute of it. The music was amazing, the animation was really well done, and it was just a really cute and charming film, and was def and is definitely one of the best Studio Ghibli films. Um, I've seen a lot of Studio Ghibli films, like... My Neighbor Totoro, Spirited Away, The Cat Returns, uh, The Wind Rises, which would actually be uh, Miyazaki's next film after Ponyo. And um, I'm trying to remember which one out, what else I watched. I also watched The Wind Rises and a couple of other ones. Out of all the Studio Ghibli films that I've seen, I think this one is probably my favorite out of all of them. Um, My Neighbor Totoro was also a great one too, and Spirited Away was an amazing film too. I'll probably talk about Spirited Away one day. But uh, yeah, I um, I really, really enjoyed this movie. This movie was amazing, and I regret not watching it years ago when when I was younger. But I appreciate uh, watching it, and I uh, really enjoyed it watching it as an adult. And... Um, Again, like I mentioned before, this is my favorite Studio Ghibli film that I've seen as of this video. But all in all, it was just a brilliant film that I highly recommend if you like anime or Studio Ghibli films. This one's definitely one of Studio Ghibli's best films in my opinion. But um, 
all in all, it was an amazing film. And uh, I don't really have anything else to add. So I'm giving uh, Ponyo an 8.9 out of 10. Well, guys, that wraps up another edition of Keegan's Movie Reviews. Thank you guys for watching this video. And before I end this video, I just want to let you guys know that there is going to be one more episode of this season. And then that will be the end of Season 5. So stay tuned for the next uh, Keegan's Movie Review videos. But anyways, until next but anyways, in the meantime, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment below, subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, share the video with your friends, etc. You get the rest. And yeah. So anyways, until next time, this is Keegan Shepard signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And yeah, take care, everybody. Peace out.